So this morning we've got a, a Honda BF100 VTEC and we're going to carry out a service on it. This is quite a new engine, it's the one with the serial number, it starts BBMJ, this is a 1112766 and it weighs between 166 and 172 kilos. It's the BF100A. So the high pressure fuel filter is in this housing here, held on with three screws. We'll remove those three screws and there's a spring in that recess there holding the high pressure filter in. And we'll take the three screws off and remove it and change it with a new one. So there's the part number for it, 16911ZY3010. So we'll just remove the three screws retaining it. Just remembering that it is spring loaded. So just take the last one out there and reveal the filter in the housing. Let's say there is a spring there. There's the filter, it only goes in one way. I'll just get the new filter here. Let's say there's a recess there for the spring. Ordinarily, you'd change these O-rings. I don't know why the O-rings don't come in the kit. Obviously there must be a separate order. And then you've got a, a little rubber bush there that pushes into the new the new part. Filter housing mark T for top. And now it's just a case of putting the three screws back on. No particular order, we'll just do them lightly first. Just so it seats and then we'll go around and nip them right up. So this is the high pressure fuel filter. There we go. That done. The one up here is like the low pressure one, and then the other one, it's not really a filter, but that's the water separator of the alarm. So that's the fuel system now done. Just like that, a correction, I said it didn't come with an O ring, it actually does come with an O ring. Just got it there in that bag. I just it was under another bear, another part in the kit, so I thought I didn't have one, but we have got one. So we'll just we'll pick this out and put the new O ring on. It's obviously always good to change O rings because. When you've got a flat face like that, it does crush the O-ring. And over time, it does wear down to the point where you have no seal in effect. So it's always good to change O-rings. Um, let's say, I didn't think this one came with one, but it does. So you go, you can't really tell, but that's the new O-ring fitted. And there's the old one there, just pulled it out. So now I'll put the, the plate back on and good to go.